Hello everybody, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Well in the last video, video number 203, we saw in John chapter 10 that Jesus gave people an opportunity to separate themselves from the confusing information that was being spread in the city. Well, in this video, we're going to open with the same verse that we opened up in our last video, but instead of talking about the topic of division and separation that it mentions, we're going to touch on what the verse says about being approved. Well, since the subjects of division and being approved are both mentioned in the same verse, this means the Holy Spirit is teaching something to us about that. It means they are connected. Yes, the subject of division and being approved are somehow connected. Well, we're going to read that verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 19, Paul writes, For there must also be factions among you, so that those who are approved may become evident among you. We learned that factions is the Greek word heresis. It means a choice, a party, or disunion. Well, the word approved is dokimos. It means properly acceptable and tried. It comes from G1380, which is dokio, and it means to think, to show truthful. Well, who will God approve and what will be that evidence that the person in the church has been approved by God? Okay, well, when you notice that there is a difference of Bible prophecy interpretation, whether it's doctrine or Bible prophecy, it's important to acknowledge that you have not studied the subject out thoroughly. So that would be the first step. If you're confused, if you're leaning towards picking one person's opinion and another person's, and although they might give very good reasoning, it's very important to consider have you studied out the subject thoroughly? If not, then follow Christ out of the city, away from the controversy, away from the flashing of opinions, and follow him on that road that will take you into the wilderness, and then study the word. Jesus is the word, the word is Jesus. You cannot separate the two. And we want to separate ourselves into the Word so that we can be taught by the Holy Spirit. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is consider all the options that have been spoken by others and study out each option from Genesis to Revelation to see if it is true. And then when you're done with that, consider other options that they have not thought of or that has not been discussed or put forward because there's a lot of things that God is revealing to us now in these last days. So there are interpretations that the church has not even considered, and God is testing us through this. So think about out of the box, think out of the box, and, and things that would still remain within the boundaries of Scripture. Are there any new ideas that the Holy Spirit is dropping into your soul? Is there something else you should study out? Okay, now you might be saying, oh my goodness, Sue, this would take so much time to study out all of these differences of, of opinions. Well, yes, it does take a lot of time. I'll be the first to tell you, our study team here will be also the first to tell you, it takes a tremendous amount of time. In fact, one could say it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle of being separated unto Jesus, separated unto the Word. So you see, the bride is not lazy. She is the Proverbs 31 woman. And that woman, in case you have not noticed, she is no slouch. So the scriptures teach us that anyone who has a Bible and the sincere desire to know Jesus is capable at arriving at correct doctrine and Bible prophecy. Listen to Isaiah 44, seven, New American Standard Bible. God says, who is like me? Let him proclaim and declare it. Yes, let him recount it to me in order from the time that I established the ancient nation and let them declare to them the things that are coming and the events that are going to take place. 
So you see, this is talking about Bible prophecy. God is expecting us to have studied the Word of God, to always be studying the Word of God, to be finding things that He has hidden because He is uncovering them, meaning He is letting us uncover them as we study. Okay, so where else do we see the word approved in the Bible? And that word approved is dokimos, as I mentioned previously. We'll look at 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Paul tells Timothy, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed, accurately handling the word of truth. So you see, Paul was certainly under the impression that we are capable of knowing the truth and handling it accurately and being able to teach it to others accurately. Now, we know there's a lot of opinions out there and we know we cannot all be right. So it is our job, each one of us, to study the scripture in such a way that we are assured of what correct theology or Bible prophecy is. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 18, Paul writes, For it is not he who commends himself that is approved, but he whom the Lord commends. Well, we see a sad state of human nature. Uh, John chapter 12, verse 43, For they loved the approval of men rather than the approval of God. And you know, when we, each one of us, search our heart and sincerely consider, is that describing me even at some level? I think you would agree with me, but we all need to repent of that. Do you love the approval of men? Well, yeah, I do too. I admit that. But we all need to come to that point where we love the approval of God over the approval of men because that's what Jesus did. He wanted the approval of his Father. So now, when we make a time commitment to prayerfully seek the knowledge of Christ, the understanding of Christ, and the wisdom of Christ, we will reap a great reward. And this is a process. Now, one of those rewards is the rapture. When those who are left behind see who has been raptured, that is God making it evident who he approved of. All right, James 1, chapter 12, King James Version. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, that word is dokimos, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Now, we all like to think we love God more than anything else. We all want to think that about, our, about ourselves, right? But the evidence is really, do you want to get to know him? I mean, it's easy to gain understanding of the gospel. It's so easy a child can understand it. A child can deliver the basic message of how to get saved. Many children are even doing that. It's another thing to want to get to know the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, how they work together. What is their covenant that they have with each other? How do they get things done between the three of them? We know they're all in unity. They're all working together, the three of them, to accomplish goals, the goals of the Father. So do you really want to get to know God, even things that don't directly pertain to you? Because what I've discovered is most Christians really only want to study the scriptures to find out the things that pertain to them. Okay, now there's one more important thing I want to show you about 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 19, and that is the word evident. So now let's find out more about how God is going to make the Christians that he has approved 
evident among the others that they are approved. We learn that by studying the word evident. What does it mean in the Greek? Well, it's Strong's number G5318. It's pronounced phaneros, and it means shining. <laughs> that is apparent, publicly appear. Well, that Greek word phaneros comes from Strong's number G5316, and it's phaeno. Faino. It means to lighten, to be seen, to shine. All right, we're getting a bigger picture here of how God is going to show to the church through the rapture that he has approved of those by rapturing them. So the left behind church is going to see who is missing and they're gonna realize, oh my goodness, I need to go back and listen to this person's message. I need to go back and listen to my notes uh, that I took about what this person was teaching, what that pastor was saying from the pulpit, what that YouTube teacher was teaching. Okay, so God is going to make it evident to the left behind church, who he has approved. And one of the reasons is so that they will gain the correct doctrine interpretation and Bible prophecy interpretation. And it's for their good, it's to help them. God is not going to leave the left behind church as orphans. He is going to help them and he's going to send us back in our raptured, glorified, shining body <laughs> because we will be like angels, it says in Luke chapter 20, verse 36. We are going to be like angels. Okay, so I hope this has encouraged you because if you're sensing God calling you out of I'm gonna call, I call it rabbinic Christianity, man-made traditions. Every church, every denomination has man-made traditions. It's so important that we break those things off of us so that we can start studying other parts of the scriptures that have never been mentioned from the pulpits. There's a lot more here that God wants to teach us through the Holy Spirit. All right, you guys, this is so much fun. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, and I will talk to you later. Bye.